Fabulous. Okay. Well, I mean, this is going on the web after all. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what are you looking at out there? All right. So in terms of site selection, the first question I ask myself when I'm thinking about composition is, what is it about? What is the painting about? Um, traditionally, in my book, a painting can't have more than one star of the show. Uh, the only exception to that rule in my book is if you have essentially three stars and they form a triangle and they're having a conversation. So I usually look for first something that gives me warm fuzzies. Uh, you know, what am I initially drawn to? And then I think more about the construction of the piece. Are there some good dark values maybe I can bring out? Uh, painting something that's all in the light is, is hard to do. You really have to have a strong story behind it to pull it off. In that case, it is all about the light. Today, it's beautiful out here. It's absolutely stunning. Um, but the light is a little flat which works to my advantage when I'm, you know, trying to cover my palette. I don't like to have sunlight on my palette, so I don't have to worry as much about that today. However, it doesn't give me as stunning a display of lights and darks and values, which is something I'm drawn to. So I'm torn between the view of the house, uh, looking towards the house from the rock behind me. Uh, I also love this expanse of rocks and then the channel and the ocean beyond and Crane Beach and the sky. So I'm going to have to think about it. <laughs>